Hello everybody, welcome to the Chalice Round of 16 match between Mr. Page and his Blue Dwarves up against Kill Train with his Red Old World Alliance. Somehow, Mr. Page is facing Old World Alliance in the Round of 16, so congratulations to him. Commiserations to Kill Train and uh, let's see how he won. In the booth with me is <laughs> Purple Chest. Hello! <laughs> hello, hello. Uh, looking forward to this one, Jim. Um, I, my money's very firmly on Mr. Page. After all, there are no elves on an Old World Alliance team. <laughs> yes. Yeah, imagine if they had, like, just an Elf Union elf. That would be quite all right, wouldn't it, you know? Like, Even one would see me back them against Mr. Page, who famously just cannot recognise an elf when he sees one. <laughs> yeah. Only stop with a, a tree, Kaz, that's all right. That's that's one for your Irish viewers. Um, a tree man, Kaz. <laughs> oh, <Jim. laughs> The That's tree all. man has, has <laughs> one of the actual dwarves. <laughs> yep. <sighs> there isn't Puggy. There, to be honest, there is Cindy. There is Cindy Pie Whistle on maybe on defense, depending if he has enough players to not field her for the for like the the end. You know, like maybe get Cindy on defense and does have Helmet Wolf. I'm not a big fan <coughs> of Helmet Wolf. But um, yeah, I'm not a big fan. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not on board with the helmet wolf choice. But Cindy's I'm great. I'm not isn't on board she? with helmet. I'd rather have had an apo or a wizard or two kegs or a big smile and my thumb up my ass. I mean, <laughs> I just think he's a liability, particularly against something with very high armor. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather have Puggy, and Puggy's terrible against dwarves. <laughs> oh my god, he's failed the GFI rush. Is helmet good versus dwarves? No, he, no, he's not. However, um, at least that's managed to hand it off to someone because yeah. hasn't he got the put it where you want skill? Uh, no, no, you can't. You can't give it to somebody if you do that. Um, plus, he uh, never okay, had so the ball in it. He just balance. fell on it. Yeah, he just fell on it and got all in eight scatter. So at least the ball is in hand, but of course it uh, did stun the thrower. Mm. Dwarves very much dominating this line of scrimmage area and trying, of course, to both work their power in that scrub and get away from the trees simultaneously. <laughs> Thanks, all the giant. It was pretty good, wasn't it? It was a really good hand up. Yes, as Dementos just pointed out, the big problem with Helmet isn't that he's not good against dwarves, it's that he's just not good. <laughs> he's not good against anyone. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but, you know, there's, if, if there's you're gonna... your inherent issue. <laughs> but, you know, if you were playing, say, Wood Elves or like Dark Elves with like, you know, 10 Blodge and you had no tackle whatsoever. Yeah, then you can make an argument that. In utter desperation, you will try the Hail Mary pass of having a terrible, terrible chainsaw star. Yeah. But I still wouldn't. <laughs> still wouldn't. He's just let him get served, hasn't he? Has he got sidestep? Oh, he's got stand firm. Okay, he's got stand firm. Like, what the hell is this? <laughs> but it's okay, he's got stand firm. There's a lot of skills. Okay, let's pause and have a look at the skills, right? We've got some nobody removed. And, uh... Guard, stand firm, and block because it's a blitzer. What's this? Block, pro, guard, juggernaut, tree. Pretty good. And block, and yeah, not block, is it? It's just brawler, isn't it? So it's got mighty blow, guard, shadowing. Rookie isn't there a leader hidden in on that tree as well, somehow? Oh, that's leader. Yeah, it's not pro, it's leader. Oh my god, I was an idiot. Yeah, that's leader. Oh my god, I love a leader tree. Uh, can't they not get it? Oh no, they can get it. Well, clearly it has somehow. That's weird. That's it there. Yeah, I was just wondering if it's correct or not. Because I was looking at the tree men and some, some ones didn't have, um, you know, throw a teammate that you would have thought they would have done. But yeah. And not throw a teammate, like leader access. Like somebody said, all the ones with throw a teammate get leader access, but some didn't. So... I'm not... Yeah, the woody one... I know the woody one can't... Because the woody one can't actually throw, right? So, oh, and like... Um, right. And the, the crocs can't throw, so he can't get passing skills. But there's also, like, stuff like uh, the ogre on the human team can't take passing skills. And I think the human team... The hum, the ogre on the Old World Alliance can't take passing skills either. Um, but the ogre on the ogre team can take passing skills. So, um, yeah, it's interesting. But it was to do with the fact that I thought it was to do with the fact of throwing, but it's not, obviously, because, yeah, it's it's a bit weird. Right, anyway, what is this guy here? Guard, 
minus PA, so that was my defensive stand firm juggernaut. Okay. Um, so after looking at the uh, <laughs> All World Alliance, thoroughly unimpressed, the dwarves have got some guards, some mighty blows, some stand firm. So there you go. And, they do have a D30 player sneaky git runner. Yep, love that. Love that. So they've got the best player on the pitch. <laughs> and then they've got a proper runner. <laughs> yep. And then this one's movement 7, edge 2 plus. Pretty, pretty decent. Yep. Yep. So, I mean, I'm definitely backing, uh, definitely backing Mr. Page stuff. Yeah, re regular ogre ogres can on secondaries, but not like human ogres and all world alliance ogres. So that made me think that the, uh, that the old world alliance tree couldn't either but maybe like you know just because this one can it doesn't mean that it can in the rules does it it could have been a mistake made by blood ball three i know that's a ludicrous suggestion but that's uh, that's a big big injury there i know he's got a deep bench but still yeah the more dwarf like players of theirs you remove the easier you get to the squishy ones yep yeah, I'm surprised at how undercooked the the line the runner is. Maybe, maybe it's a replacement runner or something. Or, or but then it would stuff more than that. Wouldn't it? It's 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 weird that it hasn't got more. Like obviously he's near the cap, and that's why he hasn't taken more skills on it. But uh, you would have thought he would have got more on that. When you look at how many are on the other players, it's strange, yeah. Isn't it? Oh. Oh, he serves, he serves, Yeah, he's using really. helmet as a surf. Glorious. Nicely done. Use, use the chainsaw player to not use his chainsaw. <laughs> well, I mean, he is a strength four unit of a piece, but he just comes with a chainsaw. He's, he's a giant for some reason. He looks like he's strength four. Oh, he's the same model as Slice the Bryce, is, Bryce the Slice, isn't he? I've just realised, like, he's the same skeleton, isn't he? I think he's the same skeleton. I think he's got the same pose. Yeah, I think he's like, you know, use the same model, and that's, he's also massive, right? Because Bryce the that slice is sense. massive. But they're both they're both just strength three. They both just look strength four. <laughs> uh, the Chaos Warrior one is strength four, isn't he? Who's, that's right. Yes. Is he? Um, I can't remember his name. But yeah, he, I mean, it's gigantic, isn't he? I think they've both got the same. Model. Yes, Max Spleen Ripper, isn't it? Yeah, that's the one. I wonder if they've got the same, like, mesh. That's that's what it is, isn't it? That's the word. It's got stun firm, isn't it? <laughs> Cast instantly. He's... Yeah, there he goes. <laughs> because he's armed. It's almost like wandering around it? with a chainsaw isn't very good for you, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. He did his job, though. He got a surf that did absolutely nothing. Is that his job? Is that really his I don't think that's his job, Jim. I think he did a job that any other piece could have done. Oh yeah, yeah, maybe. Maybe that's right. <laughs> oh god, the tree triple down. But it's okay, he's got block, he's got block. Of course I knew that. He does. It's a very experienced tree to be fair. Yeah, it's a great tree, yeah. It's been doing a lot of damage. You can see that that tree is a mainstay of this team. Yeah. Yeah, it's a great tree. Oh, we're going for a foul. Leader foul. Kaz. Glorious. Well, the dwarfs aren't awfully deep in the bench. No. That's a, that's a great result as well, isn't it? Kaz yeah. I would not. Have, I would not be happy right now. I mean, could you imagine Artemis's reaction to that? <laughs> but yeah, I wouldn't be very happy yeah, if I was the dwarves here. This is maybe maybe there's an upset on the cards. He does have a backup leader. Yeah, <laughs> the thread does have DP. Yeah, he must have got it on a random, right? He must have got it on a random. Because a lot of people just like random something at the end of the season, right? To get like some extra yeah. skills. Yeah, if you've got a tiny bit of stuff left, why not? Yeah. Plus, um, Old World Alliance throwers are utter toilet. <laughs> so being able to you know pick the ball up, get rid of it to someone that can play a bit, and then foul yourself out of the game doesn't seem like the worst plan for them to me. <laughs> Yeah, he's just strictly worse than a human one, isn't he? He's got PA 3 plus instead of 2 plus. Poor. 
core or the blue. I mean, it would be nice to click on a player, wouldn't it? Yeah. But the game just doesn't not. You. The game means that he goes, no, not showing you that. Yeah, he's got animosity and a three plus pass. But yeah, so he's nearly like a human. But he's, I guess, he randomed kick and random dirty player, and like chose leader. Um, but like honestly, kick and dirty players are pretty good combo, isn't it? Because you can kick off and then foul, yeah. and then, like you've done yeah. your job, so you're kind of getting. You've yeah, got he's a, a leader. He's a leader caddy that he's then taking some utility skills on. So I would be amazed if those weren't randoms. Yeah. yeah. But it's one thing randoms can be very good for teams like this. You just you, know, you start every lineman with a random, and then you see where that says you take it. Yeah. Do you do another random? Do you build on top of it into a really good player? Who is it? Line fodder. Because a 10 TV, who gives a shit? Yeah. Yeah, I really like randoms. I do. I think they have a place, but... I'm still not sure that our skill system is where it needs to be. People do complain it's very dull. Yes. I mean, Everyone's aiming for the same ultimate build on most things. Yeah, I mean, it is It is pretty dull, isn't it? It's not, it's not so much opinion as just fact. <laughs> It is just pretty dope. <laughs> Second leader. I mean, I guess he got leader before the tree, right? Because the tree's got so many SP. Oh, no, I'm not being able to win. I don't know. Who knows? Well, I mean, it does mean that if either one gets removed, you've still got your leader. Mm. So. Yes, the ball is based. Yep. GG. Problem is, as humans, basing the ball does often mean GG because he hasn't got really any choice except just to dodge away, has he? Makes the dodge. No. Oh. Doesn't do the last GFI. Or maybe he did. No, he did. He did do two GFIs. Okay. Yeah, he Rushes. did two. So that's as far as he can go. Yeah. That should, should do. Doors are fairly slow. Yeah, and he's made now. He's made this dodge. That maybe it doesn't help enough. No, no, no. He's done the double dodge. Puts the re-roll in. He gets the pow. Gets the big pal. Oh, he's, he's a blitzer, isn't he? He's a blitzer. Oh, so yeah, no tackle. No tackle. He's a dwarf without tackle. He slightly deserved that. That was actually decent play from Mr. P. It was anything that was going to work, so he went for it. And he went for it early in the turn when there was a chance to still maybe do something about the ball if it had got loose. Not really. <laughs> One can dream. He's got stand firm, so you better just dodging, aren't you? Trying to get yeah, some. It's a one in nine. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Thanks for the camera move game, but uh, he fails the one in nine. And the single most important thing that happened this half of the game didn't show us. Brilliant. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely brilliant. I'm going to go and get my dinner. <laughs> okay, <please. laughs> That was weird, wasn't it? The game just decided to go. Goodbye. That's the problem with humans, though, isn't it? Like every critical role is a one in nine. It's just too, it's just too book based. I think. Like, you know, we saw we saw Nightwatch failing loads of key one in thirty sixes, but when the one in nines, it's just so much more it's so likely to fail. You have to dodge. A little bit sad there for Kiltrain because he, you know, he kind of earned that score, I think, but. Maybe he could have gone further over with a ball and like could have been out of range to like that double dodge. Um, who knows? <laughs> you can rewind it if you care. Um, I don't like how packed around Cindy they are. I would, I would give her a bit of room in case she fumbled. I had a I had a formation on fumble at the Cindy formation. <laughs> Uh, can't remember exactly what it was, but I made an entire formation just to 
maximize my Cindy equity. Oh, he's back. Oh, he's not back. <laughs> Maybe it was Elio. <laughs> Was it you, Elliot? I am here. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> I am here. <laughs> Good. <laughs> someone put on. Someone put on YouTube. Uh, Elliot's been more insightful than usual lately. <laughs> So yeah, this is this is this is uh, this is actually uh, you know I may have poo pooed kill train too much at the start. Oh my goodness! <laughs> you just bombed everybody, including the train. <laughs> And two. And knocked over three. And both of his own. Oh, no, no, no. The one was a tree. Knocked over one of his own. Three dwarves. And then could have unrooted the tree, couldn't he? <laughs> that was amazing. Well, it makes up for all of my times hiring Cindy. She'll throw a lovely bomb. It'll land, explode, hit six people. And all of them will just go, yeah, what, what of it? <laughs> <laughs> I've had some good experiences with Cindy. I think she's pretty good. All you can eat as well is just insane, isn't it? I think. Yeah, it's the, it, the yeah. The, there's a high it's high risk though, Chip. I mean, it is very high it risk. It's gonna end your turn. But, but yeah. <laughs> but the thing is, when she gets hit she dies <laughs> so if there's a chance she can get hit you're just like fuck it let's go <laughs> and then throw your two bombs and you know she might not get sent off and also by throwing two bombs she might have saved herself from getting hit the next turn <laughs> yeah yeah if, if, if the tree got knocked over yeah which normally doesn't happen right because you know <laughs> it's just once it gets rooted, people generally run the fuck away. But yes, yeah, anything rooted, not down, is unrooted. Yep. Hmm. Well, we might get a we might get a throw from Cindy. Next well, you time. feel a bit for the um, the old world alliance here. They, you know, they they were very unlucky to not get it finally over the line at the end of the last turn, last half. Yeah. And here the dwarves are just humiliating them and strolling up a flag. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty sad. tragic, isn't it? See, I'd, I'd use it now, just lob two straight. It was first action. Yeah. Well, I'd, I'd, I'd go, I think I'd go for one. I'd go two first action. Use it or lose it. Like, you've just lost, right? At this point, you've just lost, right? The problem is you're 50% to then end this turn. Whereas if that first one goes right, you could suddenly be in the position to win the game. I just don't feel one does enough for you. That's why I would just go, I would just go for two. No, nope, we've just repositioned instead. Yeah, I just think you lose if you do this. I think that's terrible. Yeah, yeah this is the problem I have with it. It's just losing. Doesn't have juggernauts, that was a chosen not stand firm. Or to get one less assist on the foul. Which gets sent off. Plus I would have chosen the not to stand firm, just get away from another player. Get packed up more tight to the edge where my dwarves are gonna be around there to support it. Mm -hmm. Would you score is the question. 
think I might. Yeah, I think I probably would. Just, just, just to get rid of Cindy. Yeah, that. I'm not that worried about Old World Alliance. I am worried about Cindy. So. <laughs> <laughs> and Mr. Page does do the rush and scores. And she fails to argue the call and is sent off. And there you go. That's, that's why I would have and and I know I know you get the fifty fifty to just end your turn, but like I feel like, you know, fuck it, you're scoring next turn anyway. I feel like one one pie wouldn't have been good enough. Whereas two you know, I just just try and get lucky, right? As you as you love to mention your article that you wrote for that that uh, that that thing, wasn't it? The thing on the internet, what was it? What do you remember what it was called? The, the internet thing about getting lucky. It's like some kind of website, wasn't there? I can't remember which website it was. Um, BB Tactics. Was it BB Tactics? And, uh, I had a link somewhere. Yes, yeah, so that's it, you know, so like, uh, I would have felt... Blood Bowl Strategies. Blood Bowl Strategies, there you go. Um, so check that out. He, he asked me if I wanted to do one, and uh, I just couldn't think of anything to write. <laughs> Very good sight. Yeah, I did, I thought it was pretty good, yeah. Yeah, yeah but I was I was a bit of a fan, he was like a big Minotaur guy, wasn't he, and stuff. And uh, yeah, yeah, French website. Yeah, got some cool art and stuff. I quite like the site, but uh, I just literally couldn't think of anything to write about, so I didn't. <laughs> it's French Canadian, so yeah, it's um, they always go up in both English and French, and with some great artwork. It was just really classy. Yeah, yeah, I liked it. And very curated. There's nothing on there that's utter nonsense. It's all pretty good. Yep. And uh, so there you go. And. Um, yeah, and that's it. Like, so I would think like I've got to get lucky. I've got to get really lucky. Like, I wouldn't have just thought I've got to get lucky. I would have thought I've got to get really lucky. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's a good argument for that, which is made very ably by whoever wrote that wonderful article you're talking about. Jim. Exactly. Yeah. Um, <laughs> when you need to get lucky, you've got to do things with possible lucky outcomes. You need to do them as early as possible so that you have a chance to capitalise upon. Yeah. Yep. So I think that was the play, but. Well, certainly, I think throwing a bomb yes. rather than repositioning was. Because also, I mean, both Cindy and Bomber are—they can throw a six plus, a six space bomb on a three plus. It's really not asking much. Mm. Two thirds of the time that works. Mm. Very good. <laughs> My dad will buy all the maple syrup. <laughs> Yes, Ode to Joy, I am um, I want to do a, a One World, One Blood Bowl on exactly that, on the old form of writing things in articles. Mm. Because Goonhammer's doing some good things as well. Mm. So putting strategies, Goonhammer, and I'm sure I can find someone else that's writing things on a web page. Get three people and talk about why they're doing that. Mm. I did see some things on some sites that weren't very good. But um, yeah, it's still good that people are trying, isn't it? Um, whatever they are. But I, I know that one, the, the French Canadian one, was definitely good. And uh, it's it's weird, like it's weird, isn't it? Because like obviously, if you write something, <laughs> you basically get nothing out of it. <laughs> but if you make a YouTube video, you get some half cents out of it. So um, it's much more it's much more uh, desirable for me to do a YouTube video than write an article, um, basically. <laughs> well, that's one of the interesting things to talk to them about, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, I chose to do the article because I thought there was something that I could express reasonably concisely that would go well in a quick read. Mm. Um, but actually, I think it would have been harder to do with all of the, you know, backup clips I would have wanted to show off exactly what I was talking about. Mm, true, true. Video. So, there are some things that maybe seems better. Yeah, something. Plus, I'm not trying to monetize in the way that you are, so for me it's about, yes, profile within the community matters to me, I suppose. Um, I build on the legend that is PC. <laughs> yes. Where legend means an old story mostly made up. <laughs> 
I'm not saying that I'm only be doing it for money or anything, but the point is, like, you know, it'd take you, like, let's say writing an article might take me, because I'm not a writer, that might take me, like, two or three hours to write an article or something. I don't know, I've never tried, right? So it could take me hours to write an article and I get nothing from. That's just not a good deal, is it, for me? Like, it's just not, is it? So I'd have to struggle and... You know, yeah, that, that's why I haven't really thought about writing anything. I've I've fixed the odd team build on Fumble. You know, like they've got a wiki for like tactics on that with like team builds. So I've fixed, I've fixed like two or three of those, but haven't you know? Yeah, and with your art and things, it's not like you haven't given to the community, Chip. Yeah, thanks. I don't think you've any um, no, any crosses to bear there. Thanks. I do my best. I and honestly, even you know, even all the times when. Uh, I've been accused of being toxic and stuff. I, as I said, I haven't done it maliciously. All, all the times I've been an asshole <laughs> or whatever, it hasn't been on purpose. I've always tried, you know, to help and be nice. It's always come from a good place. And now, now I'm, you know, I'm really trying to not be an asshole. <laughs> so that will hopefully be good. Oh, that's a shame. I'll have to think of something else to invite you on then. <laughs> I wanted to do a one world one blood bowl on the most annoying things in blood bowl. I can, st I can still be on that. I'd have a list of like thirty, and then each guest's allowed to bring sort of half a dozen of their own, <laughs> and then we score them all between the four people on the panel and end up with a definitive list of what the most annoying thing is. Brilliant. According to four people who are annoyed by things in blood bowl. Brilliant. That's pretty good. How's it going? I think it's going okay. I think I'm. I'm I think I'm. I think I'm doing all right, but um, I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, I'm, I, I'll. Do you know what I'm annoyed by? Well, I won't say it. I won't spoil things. Well, yeah, it's good. I'll save that. I mean, if you invite me, I'll do that. That's. I'll do it. I'll be on all of any time you ask. In fact, pretty much, unless like, you know something's happened in real life. Oh god, yeah, don't like the rules. Play chess. That, that, yeah, the play chess is a standard thing that people say, isn't there? Like you know. There's a sliding scale, obviously, of luck between chess and, like, snap, isn't there? And as soon as you say, like, well, I think on this scale, you know, it's it's currently a 37, and I'd like it to be a 39, and they say, oh, why don't you just make it 100 then? <laughs> For fuck's sake. Reducto ad absurdum. Yes, take the argument to its absurdist conclusion. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I think that'd be good, and I think you'd be good at that. It'd be a fun episode. Thanks. I could imagine you absolutely boiling your piss at some of the behaviours <laughs> we have to describe. It won't be so funny when the other three people say Jimmy Fantastic, though. <laughs> 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 oh my goodness. He's Kaz the Tree. Also, he won it. Oh. Fair play to Kill Train, by the way. He got back and scored. As much yep. as I would have scored when, when uh, Mr. Page did, he got back and scored on him. And he's hardly got any team left, but he got back and scored. And he took it overtime. And he would have won if he'd made that 8 out of 9 dodge, wouldn't he? In the, in the he first would. half. So. He crazy. would. That would have. Well, I mean, you don't know that Page wouldn't have played the second half differently. True. Maybe not going in as early. But yes, no, he's done fine. Yeah. Just quietly in the background. He's played quite a decent game, given the limited resources he has. But. Yeah. Unfortunately, the dwarves have really got on top of this team now. Yeah, yeah, it's massive, basically. <laughs> and whereas very briefly it looked like the alliance was starting to remove a couple of dwarves, that very much stopped. Yeah. And now there are halflings on the pitch, for goodness sake. Yeah, yeah, he's still got some numbers, but yeah, two of them are flings, which is not good. <laughs> And he's lost the best fling. <laughs> you could say the only good one. Number one will be a tight race between Jimmy and Dwarves. Yeah, I guess it would be Dwarves, wouldn't it? I guess Dwarves is going to be the most annoying thing in Blood Bowl, yeah. yeah that's no, because I'm there and I won't be giving that any points. <laughs> so things will definitely be more annoying than Dwarves. <laughs> I guarantee you that won't win. <laughs> I think if you ask people that didn't involve you. <laughs> well, I, I don't have to, because it's my podcast. I can ask whoever I fucking like. <laughs> yeah, dwarves are, dwarves are pretty hated, aren't they? Whether it's they justified are. on that. You know, yeah. 
Yeah, they are. You can't deny that they are. They are. Mm. Oh, God, yeah, th that's a funny one, isn't it? That's a subtle one, because obviously normally you're very happy to play dwarves. And you feel like an idiot when it happens, but still, when they never bonehead, <laughs> it becomes pretty annoying <laughs> when they're just smashing you every turn with mighty blow and they just never bonehead. But it seems like, it yeah. just feels like such a silly thing to complain about, because you're like... It was a standard game of mine, and Core happened to be in the booth with me as I was casting and playing. And in the end he pointed out I was clearly tilted because I'd started counting. The Ogres had got to 27 <laughs> activations without both of <laughs> Which isn't normal, but it's also not normal that I'd noticed. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah, in that style doors are fine, yeah. It's it's weird, isn't it? It's weird that there's like there's there's three ways to play a Blood Bowl, which is like leagues, NAF and uh, ladder, isn't it? Yeah. And, uh, and yeah, they're, 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 they're oppressive in leagues, I'd say. And in, in ladder, they're interesting because they're just efficient rather than powerful, aren't they? So. Yes, and they live. Yeah. I mean, they, you know, everything dies in Blood Bowl 2020, but they live reasonably well. They stay quite well. Have we just... <laughs> it's just splitting for a power, no problem. Yeah. It does the job, doesn't it? After which we secured the ball by moving a player two spaces that could have moved beforehand, but never mind. <laughs> yeah. It's fine. <laughs> it wasn't that much of a risk. Yeah. Uh, no, absolutely not. There was no, no, Steve. They, they, um, they, they scupper uh, them in NAF constantly. Yes, I think they are, Steve. Um, but only because of how terrible the rule set is. <laughs> so dwarves are pretty, pretty, pretty hard. You can only have four guard maximum. And much more importantly to me is that, because I can live with a four guard, is that I can't then have block as one of my remaining two skills on my runner. Which I don't need for safety when I'm driving, although it's not terrible for that. But I need as a safety when I'm defending. So I would normally go four guard, one mighty blow, one block, and it prevents me having the block, which is a real shame, and it stops me getting hold of things well. Wow. Um, on the upside for dwarfs is it's such a great rule pack for Amazons and undead, particularly that that kind of make dwarfs a not terrible pick. The problem, the problem is though, PC. I've I've been reliably informed. Um, that if you want block on a runner, you just need to play better. So there you go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that made me chuckle. But um, anyway, that's just a little, <laughs> just a little treat for people who are on the Discord. There, it's not a personal attack in any way, but it made. So me no, I don't think dwarves are very good in this rule set at all. But I do think you might get some people rolling them just because Amazons and Undead are so good in this rule set, and dwarves are not a bad count for those two races. Hmm. Well, I think I'd go Amazons and Undead and six teams that can take a Thark. <laughs> <laughs> well, Amazons and Undead, um, there's a, I did a wonderful Orc build. Uh, four Blitzers, four Biggins, Varag. Uh, I think one Lineman, one Goblin, one Reroll. Hmm. Um, which is, is nice. There's a lovely Chaos Dwarf build, which is the six Dwarves. A Thark and Hobgoblins to 12 or 13. I think it's 13. That comes with a couple of rerolls. Um, so those are nice builds. Um, humans, I think, will do very well. It just means you can't put block on your catcher, but that's all right because you'll just put dirty player sneaky kit on your catcher instead. Oh dear, what is she going to do? <laughs> um, and you'll obviously have a tackle Mighty Blow Blitzer, which is always nice on humans. Yeah. So humans, I think, will build well. Um, I think Kemri will probably do all right. Yeah, yeah. Amazons, obviously. Undead, obviously. So, yeah, if you add humans and... Oh, what was the other one I thought was going to be solid without too much abuse? Vampires. Yeah, vampires. And then four that abuse a star in some way. Yeah. Just, just a thark. A thark's ludicrous. I would, I would oh, no, Wood Elf, of course. Oh, yeah. Sorry, Wood Elves are another good one because two dancers with two skills on each. I mean, yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be fine. 
Oh yeah, you're probably insane, Super G. Yeah, yeah Necro just get gutted, don't they? And uh, Dark Elves don't make anything. You get like two dodge and two wrestle. Yeah, Dark Elves. I mean, it probably means you don't go the four blitzer build. It probably means you go the three blitzer build. So you still have your two whistle wrestle witches, your two dodge blitzers, your runner with leader, and then your fourth. Your third blitz, you probably just put tackle on. Um, for your, that's your six skills. But then you've only got, then you don't have the money, right? So you probably just go five skills. And in fact, I'd probably take the tackle off that okay. blitzer and I put it onto one of the blodge blitzers. If you can, I don't know if you can't, you put it on that one. No, so I don't think you can skill. even have six skills, PC. I don't think you can even have six skills. I think you can. Because I, I think I'd take off for money, right? I'd take off a skill for money. Just gonna be you better. get 36 SPP at 1100. Mm -hmm. um, at 1100, because as I said, you're using a leader caddy. Um, my 1500 build comes with four rerolls and an apo. So that build at 1100 uh, would still have three rerolls and an apo. Yeah. So Dark Elves will be fine. It just means one less blodge blitzer, and it's Denny's a tackle blitzer, or a dirty player line person instead. But because you only have 11 on that build, probably not a dirty player. Mm, or a wrestle, a wrestle person, or a kick person. But yes, it's one less blodge blitzer for the Dark Elves, so they're not ruined. It's just, why? Why have you Why have you not touched Undead and Amazons when you've really hurt Dwarves, Dark Elves, and Lizards? Mm. That just seems weird. Yes, there's multiple things. I mean, ba banning Zarg and not a Tharg and then not copping to it being a misprint is, or like mistype, is weird, isn't it? That's really I can weird. see why someone might, at a cursory glance, think that Zarg has a busted skill because he can destroy a cage or, or down a ball carrier from three squares away. Um, but. You know, so can the barrel bash guy and he's not banned and. It just seems very weird. Zarga, no one was worried about. No, no, really weird. Really weird. Um, Whereas anyway. Barag, Borek, and Hathark are all allowed and <laughs> pretty dangerous. Yep. And, uh, right, anyway. D yep. Congratulations, Mr. Page. Uh, wins 2 1 versus Kill Train. And congratulations to Kill Train, honestly, getting that far. And he could have won another day, couldn't he? Very, very close to. Uh, he definitely could. Um, stuff, so, yeah. It got very dice induced, didn't it? Towards yeah. the end of that first half, when he could have been sacked multiple times, but could also have scored. So both could have claimed to be both lucky and unlucky there. Yeah. Um, second half, Page did the sensible thing, you know, banged it in early, down on numbers, and hoped to just get keep getting on top of them. And it, it kind of worked. Oh. So. so there you go. So thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. <laughs>